Good morning, mga mahal, my fellow God's beloved. It's a beautiful sunny day. <laughs> yes, let us rejoice in the Lord always. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for this wonderful day once again. A beautiful morning. Sun is shining brightly. And it's a good day again to begin with God's word before taking my breakfast. What a beautiful flower from the uncle government. It was like underneath <laughs> hanging. And so, so beautiful to behold. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful flower so fresh i went down to run for a little while while grandparents are eating their breakfast and i just ran downstairs and uh, i found this flower outside so thank you lord for your love <laughs> hallelujah we bless you lord and we glorify your father as we want to read your word again help us father to understand Give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you, Father, as we are going to read the Psalm chapter 15 today. Psalm, uh, sorry, Psalm chapter 15 and 16. <laughs> yes, hallelujah. Yesterday, we read Psalm chapter 13 and 14. Lord, thank you for your word. Hallelujah. For the kingdom of God is not just eating and drinking, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. It also says that Jesus said, It is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Oh, we bless you, Lord, and we glorify you, God. Deeper in love. <laughs> I want to sing this song. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Let us be deeper in love with you, God. Hallelujah. There is a longing only you can feel. Yes, Father, it's only you that can feel a raging tempest only you can steal my soul is thirsty lord to know you as i'm known drink from the river that flows before your throne take me deeper deeper in love with you jesus hold me close in your embrace take me deeper deeper than i've ever been before i just want to love you more and more how i long to be deeper in love Sunrise to sunrise, hallelujah. Yes, Father. Sunrise to sunrise, I will seek your face, hallelujah. Yes, sunrise to sunrise, I will seek your face. Drawn by the Spirit to the promise of your grace. My heart has found in you a hope that will abide here in your presence forever satisfied. Hallelujah. Take me deeper, deeper in love with you. Jesus, hold me close in your embrace. Take me deeper, deeper than I've ever been before. 
I just want to love you more and more. How I long to be deeper in love. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. Take us deeper, deeper in love with you, Father. For the, without you, Lord, we are nothing. <laughs> but with you, Father, we are complete. We have everything. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. Psalm chapter 15. Guidelines for living a blameless life. Lord, who may dwell in your sanctuary, who may live in your holy hill, he who walk is blameless and who does what is righteous. Who speak who speaks the truth from his heart verse three and who has no slander in his tongue, who does his neighbor no wrong and casts no slur on his fellow man, who despises a vile man, but honors those who fear the Lord, who keeps his oath even when it hurts. Oh. <laughs> who lends his money without usury and does not accept a bribe against the innocent. He who does these things will never be shaken. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Wow. These are who will dwell in God's holy, in God's holy sanctuary. I think I want to read again in another another pass, another the New Living Translation, what it says because it's quite easy to understand also the passage there. And so let me see. <laughs> Hallelujah! Thank you, Father. Psalm, Psalm what? Psalm uh, fifteen. Right, Psalm 15. Sunrise to sunrise, I will seek your face. I can know each of your grace. My soul is thirsting to know you as I know. Drink from the river, I don't you. Take me deeper, deeper in love with you. This one. Psalm 15. Who may worship in your sanctuary, Lord? Who may enter your presence on your holy hill? Verse 2. Those who lead blameless lives and do what is right, speaking the truth from sincere hearts, those who refuse to gossip or harm their neighbors or speak evil of their friends, those who despise flagrant sinners and honor the faithful followers of the Lord and keep their promises even when it hurts. Those who lend money without charging interest and who cannot be bribed to lie about the innocent, such people will stand firm forever. Oh, thank you, Lord, for your word. Help us to understand and to apply this in our lives, Father. Thank you, Lord. Amen. All right, let's go. Father, reading. Chapter 16. Psalm 16. Keep me safe, O God, for I have come to you for refuge. Verse 2. I said to the Lord, You are my master. Every good thing I have comes from you. The godly people in the land are my true heroes. I take ref pleasure in them. Troubles multiply for those who jeez after other gods. I will not take part in the sacrifices of blood or even speak the names of their gods. Lord, you alone are my inheritance, my cup 
of blessing. You guard all that is mine, and land and land you have given me is a pleasant land. What a wonderful inheritance! I will bless the Lord who guides me. Even at night, my heart instructs me. I know the Lord is always with me. I will not be shaken, for He is right beside me. Hallelujah. Yes, thank you, Father. No wonder. My heart is glad and I rejoice. My body rests in safety, for you will not leave my soul among the dead or allow my, your Holy One to rot in the grave. You will show me the way of life. Grant me the joy of your presence and the pleasures of living with you forever. Amen. Hallelujah. What a wonderful word, Father. Thank you. Yes, Jesus. No wonder my heart is glad and rejoice. My body rests in safety. Hallelujah. Lord, thank you for your powerful word. <laughs> it's so awesome, Lord. Thank you. We bless the Lord and we glorify you, Father. You are worthy of glory and honor and praise, O oh God. Thank you. Hallelujah. This is something as this one in this New Living Translation and also in the New International Version. Thank you, Father. Psalm 16. Keep me safe, O God, for in you I take refuge. I said to the Lord, You are my Lord. Apart from you I have no good thing. As for the saints who are in the land, they are the glorious ones in whom is all my delight. The sorrows of those will increase who run after other gods. Mm -hmm. Sorrow of those who will increase who run after other gods. I will not pour out their libations of blood or take up their names on my lips. Lord, you have in assigned me my portion and my cup. You have made my lot secure. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Surely, I have delight inheritance. I will praise the Lord who counsels me. Even at night, my heart instructs me. I have set the Lord always before me. Because He is at my right hand, I will not be shaken. Yes, Amen. Therefore, my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices. My body also will rest secure because you will not abandon me to the grave. You will not let the Holy One see decay. You have made known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. Amen. Thank you, Father. Bless you, Lord, and we glorify you, O oh God. Thank you for your wonderful word today, O oh God. For fun, further more reading, 15, from verse 15, 3 and 4. Words are powerful, and how you use them re reflects on your relationship with God. Perhaps nothing so identifies Christians as their ability to control their speech. Speaking the truth, refusing the slander, and keeping oaths um, like promises, what's out for you, say uh, James 3 1. For more on the importance of controlling your tongue. God was against the Jews charging interest, oh, you sure, interest of money, or making profit on loans to needy. Philo Jews also. See in Exodus chapter 22 verse 25, Leviticus 25, 35 to 37. Although charging interest on loans for foreigners was allowed in Deuteronomy 23 verse 20. Interest was also um, allowable for business purposes as long as it wasn't exorbitant. See Proverbs 28 verse 8. Some people are so obsessed with money that they will charge their God-given standards and lifestyle 
to get it. If money is controlling force in your life, it must be curbed, or it will harm others and destroy your relationship with God. Title Miktang comes from term that may mean to cover. It could mean covering through the lips a silent prayer, a prayer that someone might be covered with protection. Cover can also mean atone for, miktang, misim, a psalm of atonement. That's in now, this is now in chapter 16, 7 and 8. 7 and 8. 7 and 8. <laughs> okay, let's read. It is human nature to make our own plans and then ask God to bless them. Instead, we should seek God's will, God's will first by constantly thinking about the Lord and His way of living. We will gain insights that will help us make right decisions and live the way God desires. Communicating with God allows Him to counsel us and give us wisdom. By saying that we will not be shaken, David was uh, talking about the unique sense of security felt by believers. God does not exempt believers from the day-to-day -day circumstances of life. Believers and unbelievers alike experience pain, trouble, and failure at times. Unbelievers have a sense of hopelessness about life and confusion over their true purpose on earth. Those who seek God, however, can move ahead confidently with what, with what they know is right and important in God's eyes. They know that God will keep them from being moved of, of His chosen path. Chapter 8 and 11 The psalm is often called Messianic Psalm because, because he is quoted the New Testament as referring to the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Both Peter and Paul quoted uh, from the psalm when speaking of Christ's bodily resurrection. We can see this in Acts chapter 2 verses 25 to 28, chapter 31 verses and chapter 13 verses 35 to 37 16 verse 9 therefore my heart will rejoice and be glad David stated confidently that God would not leave him in the grave many people fear death because they can neither control nor understand it as believers we can be assured that God will not forget us when we die. He will bring us to life again. Amen. Yes, it's true. To live with Him forever. This provides, this provides real security. Amen. It's true, Father. Thank you, Lord, that we will live forever and ever with you. For this passage is about resurrection. See Job chapter 9, 25, uh, 26 of Isaiah, uh, sorry. Job chapter 9, 25 and 26. Isaiah chapter 26, verse 19. Daniel chapter 12, verse 2 and 13. Mark chapter 13, verse 27. First Corinthians chapter 15, verses uh, 12 to 58. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verses 13 to 18, Revelation chapter 20 verses 11, and chapter 21 verse 4. Hallelujah. This is uh, the surreal security that provides that about resurrection. And so we will also live forever with God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Yes, we will not be afraid. Oh, God, thank you, Father, for your word again today. We are so blessed, Lord. Yes, our heart is glad. Hallelujah. And my tongue rejoices. My body 
also will rest secure. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for your word. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that we are so affirmed. We bless you, Lord, and we glorify you, O Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you, mga mahal, for reading with me God's love letter for us. Take care and have a lovely day. Bye.